So now that we've got the push rod length set, um, we're going to try to check for the piston to valve clearance. So I've taken the head back off, and what we're going to do is take some clay, and we're basically going to stick it on the number one cylinder here, um, and stack it up so that the valve can squish it down. And basically we'll see what our clearance is. So just took some modeling clay and basically put it on the piston here. Um, I am oh, probably 200 thousandths, 250 thousandths thick. Uh, make sure you clean off the top of the piston with some brake clean because you want the clay to stick here. And remember, you got to have that gasket on there to have the right thickness. So we got the head back on and then the, the rocker stand here. And the push rod you're going to want to use is your checker push rod because when you put the rocker on, it has to be with zero preload, zero lash. So I only have one of these, so I'm going to have to um, do intake and I'm sorry, exhaust, intake and exhaust separately. So take that checker push rod, put it in there, okay, and then uh, which I know is at zero lash from what we did before. All right, so I put the rocker on, and again I have that zero um, zero lash push rod in here. I put another rocker on over here just to hold the. Uh, the rocker stand in, in place. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to rotate the engine through a complete revolution. So let me do that now. You can watch the rocker go up and down and make sure that I'm on a compression stroke essentially. Now I will take the push rod out, put it on the exhaust and do the same thing. Okay, I switched and put the uh, zero lash push rod in on the exhaust and put that rocker on. I'll do the same thing. I'll rotate the engine over a couple of full turns to make sure that I go through a full cycle and the valve comes down uh, and opens up fully. All right, let's take the head off, see what we got here. run the piston up here so we can see the clay and there's the clay so there's the clay you can see the impressions of the valve so what we're going to do I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to cut right across the center so we can get a cross section here and you can see the minimum is minimum distance is right there on the exhaust this is the exhaust side this is the intake side you can see the minimum on the intake side is right there. So to measure that clay, I'm going to use a dial caliper, which is basically this here. So you, you slide these, these jaws apart, okay, and you can measure here, but also on the end, um, see the end comes out. So I'll use that end uh, to measure the thickness. So this is the exhaust valve, and what I'm taking is a dial caliper in the bottom of it. And I'm just going to push it down, just eyeing it, give me an idea. It's, uh, it's hard to tell in the video, but that is at the base of where I cut it. So that is uh, 170 thousandths. Okay, and that's on the exhaust. And per what I've read, on the exhaust, minimum clearance would be 100 thousandths of an inch. So I got 70 thousandths. Uh, clearance, which is plenty. So that's that. Here's the intake side. I'm going to do the same thing with my dial caliper. And I'm going to go down. I know it's tough to see on the video, but that right there is, that's it about right there. And that is, let's see, 170 thousandths. And per spec on the intake, you need at least 80 thousandths actually 65 to 80 thousandths clearance. So I have plenty of clearance. I have no concerns about piston to valve clearance. Push rod length and piston to valve clearance were the final checks I wanted to do before uh, final assembly of the motor. Again, I was probably okay. The cam I picked is a stage one cam from Texas Speed, which is their most mild cam. And I didn't change really any of the valve train geometry. I didn't pick different rockers um, or different rocker stands or anything like that. 
or a different length valve, stems, anything like that. So it's probably okay. It was good to check it. Um, and I just have that peace of mind that everything's fine uh, with those two items. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll get into final assembly soon.